Oh my god guys, Balloon Wars are about to start and many people still don't know what to do. Watch this video, oh my gosh, Balloon Wars! It's you boy, Ben <laughs> Hey guys, I'm giving away 1000 world locks. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Post your world and grow ID to join. What's up guys, it's your boy, Ben Barrage. Welcome to this episode. Balloon Wars! Oh my gosh! Balloon Wars are about to break out. Okay? And if you don't have any balloons, you should get some. You should participate because I think at the end of Balloon Wars, um, everyone will get a trophy. Okay? Even if your team loses, you'll get a trophy, a bronze trophy. If your team wins, you'll get a golden trophy. Second place, silver, silver trophy. And if you are the best, I heard you could get an MVP trophy. Wow. That's what I heard. So you should participate. Maybe just get a few balloons. Because if you just, you know, participate a little bit, you, you could get a trophy at the end of Balloon Wars. If you don't have any balloons, you cannot afford a balloon o -matic, which is pretty expensive for normal players. Just go to worlds like Buy Balloon and just buy them for a world lock it's pretty cheap right now actually you can even buy them from these vending machines but it's more expensive here um, you can buy them from people sell balloon 300 per one that's pretty cheap 200 per three see you could do that buy balloons from people just stock up guys um, small war balloons 150 to 200 per world lock medium war balloons um, these will give you more points when you throw them at people um, large war balloons 8 to 10 per world lock pretty good pretty good you should participate a little bit if you want to have fun and also you can get something if you don't participate you won't get anything you won't get incentives you won't get rewards so I'm, I'm probably gonna participate and make sure you don't people from other teams can can pelt you with balloons because if you're you're wet, you get the, I forgot what it's called, there's a mod, a uh, dripping wet mod, then you can't play for like 10 minutes. Um, you guys saw how we played um, Balloon Wars in beta. If you still don't know what to do though, yeah, stock up on balloons. Um, yeah, if you're rich, buy one of these. balloon nomadic make your own balloons, okay? I uh, just put a bunch of stuff in there, okay? stuff you don't need garbage things you don't need put in there you get balloons and and also if you do a lot you can get a reward as well that's what I heard for more details um, you could go to the world uh, I forgot what world um, just go ahead and type slash news real quick now they have this world this new world Ubisoft the Buddha B <laughs> go to the world and it should have tons of information. I have never been to the world, but let's go check out the world. Let's go check it out together. It should have tons of details on this uh, update. Ubisoft the Buddha B. Let's go. How's my memory, guys? Pretty good, right? <laughs> How's my spelling? Oh, it's owned by UbiDev. Oh, new video. The only world owned by UbiDev in Grotopia. Oh my gosh. Clickbait. <laughs> Find out more about Balloon Wars. My first time coming in here, um, when the update came out, when they announced uh, the world, I couldn't come in here. So many people. So this is pretty. Oh, look at the background. Howling Wolf background. I, I believe that's what it's called. Donate to these machines for a reward. Oh man, Seth and Hamumu are gone? I don't know. They don't make these worlds anymore now, it's UbiDev. Welcome to Grotopia, UbiDev. Balloonomatic, use these machines to convert items with rarity be below 200 into war balloons. Okay, so if something. Uh, uh, I think if something is super rare, the rarity is above 200, it won't work. Um, 
and if you donate you get balloons and if you donate later I might buy one of these to show you guys I, I actually did this in beta already but might buy one just to show you guys in the real Grotopia in the real world not in the matrix maybe this was the matrix and that world is the real world I don't know <laughs> if you donate 8,000 rarity what happens to a single machine you can get rewards once you donate enough, it will explode and drop items. Wow. So you got junk, you don't need farmables especially. Um, just put in here. Put in here. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to turn the chat off a little bit because there are so many people. Okay, so you guys can see everything better. And here, <laughs> I show you guys this in beta, okay? Uh, if you want to build a world team entrance, this is oh, awesome guys. You want to build a base. Actually, I should be doing that, right? Because my world is so popular. You guys can come to Bin Barrage. My team, I'm in the red team, punch team, because I punch stuff. Go to beer, grow to beer, punch, build, grow, and shoot a deer. Anyways, team entrance, you, you, could, you could use this to make a base for your team because when when um, balloon wars occur and you you let's say my team is red right get a red one you can get this from uh, i think the the pack i bought this already balloon wars pack i bought it in beta and only your team can walk through the door but but the gate but you have to to make it public otherwise only you can walk through it what is this flag when you hit blue or green team members with your balloons, you not only contribute to your team points, but also automatically enter the daily challenge. Then top for a chance to win. Aha! Uh -huh. You can enter the daily challenge by participating. So there are rewards, like I told you. Only true fighters get these. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, nice. Balloon fragments. You have a chance to earn balloon fragments by attacking enemy players. Feed these fragments to the balloon nomadic for a shot at some rare rewards. Wow, I found out something new. You get, when you get one of these, you can actually put in here and you might get a reward. Ooh. Dry yourself to get back in the fight. Yeah, like if if the other team pelts you with a balloon during balloon wars, I think now you can't pelt anybody because balloon wars uh, haven't uh, occurred. But when it does happen, when you get pelted, um, you have the dripping wet mod and you can't participate for like 10 minutes but if you get this if you get hit you come back and dry yourself off with a checkpoint before you can attack enemies again oh. oh my gosh is that what i think it is that's a that's that's toilet paper <laughs> that's a towel towel rack but not a toilet paper roll but apparently this will yeah Wow, that's awesome. Um, it's raining outside. Want to know more? What is this? Yeah, you, you just got to try it out, guys. But that's already tons of information. Yeah, guys, you don't know what to do. You can come here and read some stuff. Um, read for yourselves. Tons of information here. It's more fun sometimes to not know too much. Oh, we got more. Oh, look at blue. What is that? See? Gold trophies! The winning team will get gold trophies and the top players will get the MVP trophy! So get out there, soldier! Start fighting for honor and glory! I heard, even if you lose, you will get a trophy if you participate. That's what I heard, I don't know. The war is starting soon! That's the, the scoreboard, I believe. Check who is, You can check who, who the best is, but it hasn't started. You can check here. The war starting soon hasn't started. Oh, just one day, two hours, 17 minutes, guys. Stock up on balloons. Go buy some balloons. Have fun, guys. Let's have fun. Let's have some fun. Fun, fun, fun. Well, guys, um, that's it for this video. I'm in my world, Ben Barar. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos. If this video uh, was cool, don't forget to drop a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!